Welcome to Morning Miss Marie Monday. My name is Jake. And my name is Jeremy. And today we will be telling you what our number one favorite ranked Morning Musume member is. Number one! Chiban! And there's no real surprise, or there at least shouldn't be any surprise who our number one is at this point. There's only one person we both haven't talked about, like, respectively, yeah. you know. And well, also we talk about these members all the time. <laughs> they are the standard by which we compare everything. My number one favorite Morning Musume member is, of course, none other than my sainted Reina. Reina Tanaka and I have had an interesting relationship. When she first joined the group, I actually made fun of her a lot. And you I hated her! I didn't like her. I don't know why, I just did not care for Reina. And then something happened uh, about the time that Gaki left. A little bit before then. Uh, and I think it's because Gaki was the true star. And once she left, the balance of power shifted. It was kind of like in Coven, you know, the new Supreme. Reyna was the new Supreme, and so of course my loyalties flew to her. But there was just always been, when I really look at Reyna, there's just always been such a I don't give a frack thing about her. She wasn't the best dancer or vocalist, but she didn't need to be because she had so much attitude and I loved it from her jizz glitter hair, <laughs> to her bows, to her cat ears, like, Raina- Her crooked face. Her crooked, her very crooked face, <laughs> God bless. Raina clearly did not give any of the fracks, and that's part of why I just adored her. She was just kind of there and didn't want to be, but was, and made, you know, kind of made the most of it, but didn't really, because she didn't care enough to, and I don't know why, but I just love her for it. I think she had a very good voice for J-pop. I think, I think she sounded really good in um, all the songs that she had solos in. I, I never once was like, "Ooh, Reina, you shouldn't have sang that." And, I think that often. <laughs> and in general, I just, I just love me some Tanaka Reina, and I miss her still to this day. Tanaka Reina, one Tanaka two Tanaka, two, Tanaka, <laughs> Tanaka Reina. Um, I miss her to this day. I know she has Love and Door, but I don't think Love and Door is the best showcase of her vocal abilities. I don't think she has a voice for rock music. Sorry. Mine is upstaging her. It's true. Um, I, I think if she had done like a solo pop thing, maybe like a hard edge pop, that would have ended up a lot better for her. I just don't think she has a voice for rock. But that being said, she is just my favorite. I don't think she really gave that much to Morning Musume in terms of of being a leader. I don't think <laughs> she contributed a lot. I don't think she was the best member by far, but damn it, I just love Reyna, and I got to meet her, so. <laughs> That's the biggest deciding factor, I think, of why she's your number one. It would have been Sayumi if you hadn't met Reyna. It's true, it's true. Sayumi quickly overshadowed them all, but... The mall? The mall. She overshadowed <laughs> she the whole mall. crushed the mall. She but everybody on this! <laughs> um, but I met Rena, so she holds a special place in my heart. And she's just as glittery and jizz haired and cat eared in person. <laughs> Jer, who's your number one? My I number one her. is. <laughs> Shut up. The number one, the queen, the greatest, the most beautiful, talented member ever to grace Morning Musume. Way better than the group itself. Oh. Should have been a soloist from day one. Nigaki Riso. Slay Gaki. <laughs> there should really be no question that Gaki was my number one because I literally have talked nonstop about her for years. I went into a like week long sad depressive state because she was leaving the group and I was so just broken and devastated. I compare girls to her all the time because I think that she was the pinnacle of what a Morning Musume member should be. She sang fantastically. She had an amazing range. She could sing really any genre and sound fantastic in it. She could dance well. She could act amazingly. And she just conveyed so much energy on camera. And everything that she did, Gaki put 110 million percent into it. Where all the other girls kind of rested on pretty or rested on whatever was safe, Gaki went above and beyond. When she was handed her lousy chicken song, she rocked the hell out of that song. If any of the other girls had gotten, had gotten it as their like intro song to being the leader of the group, I don't think they would have handled it with as much poise as Gaki did. And I think she really took everything in stride, regardless of how badly they treated her. 
and I do think that they treated her badly because she was a fantastic vocalist and they didn't want her to be the center for some reason and I, I will never really truly understand why she was not allowed to be the center more often than she was because again I think that she was so fantastic and I know that she's kind of polarizing a lot of people don't like her because of some of the scandal that happened when she first came in the group where she had been affiliated with another organization some people say that her dad paid a lot of money there's just a lot of like stuff that surrounds how she got in the group I think that she was fantastic from the moment that she stepped in and she was the most talented of that generation that came in and I would dare say more talented than Takahashi Ai, who <laughs> is a fantastic vocalist but I don't think really fit in Morning Musume well because she had such a soloist voice. Gaki does too, but she also has a group voice, much like Jacob mentioned a couple weeks ago when he talked about Gaki, that she does have a strong voice to fit solo songs, but she also tailored her voice to sing group lines, and so I think that she was just a fantastic member all around. Um, I loved her in the Morning Musume Cinderella performances. She was the perfect prince. She has done well in anything that she's ever acted in, and again, I just think the world of her, and she was so pretty too. But I do have to say, I did not notice Gaki for my first, like, year that I paid attention to the group, that I started getting into the group. I didn't really notice her much because I was so in love with Yossi that I wasn't paying attention to anybody else. And then when I started watching the backstage stuff and, like, really paying more attention to the girls that weren't just in the center, that's when I fell in love with Gaki because I noticed that while the girls in the front were doing their thing, she was in the back doing like 10 times more than that. So, yeah. She grew on me for, like, after my first little bit being exposed to the group. Because she didn't get exposure. So how was I supposed to know who she was? All I'm taking from what he just said is that he didn't notice Gaki right away and I'm gonna hold that over his head forever. You hated Reyna. I didn't hate At least Gaki. I noticed Reina from the ghetto. It's because I pointed her out. You didn't notice her from Shabondama all the way up to Resident Blue. And by the time we got to Resident Blue, you were like, who is this Reina bitch? And how did I never know that she was in the group? I hate her. She's awful. You, like, literally just went on a tirade, but you did not notice her forever. I had to point her out. Alright, that would. <laughs> Every week we ask you guys to rank your Morning Musume members along with us. So now we finally get to find out who your number one ranked Morning Musume members are. Let's take a look. My number one will always be Sayumi. Good choice. She's the reason why I remained interested in Morning Musume after Ishikawa Rika left. Aww. Oh, I thought Yossi was really interesting. Then we got from after school, Chi Chia. The, their number one is Takashi Ai. And they said that when they were introduced to Hello Project, they weren't a huge fan of Morning Musume. But after watching music video from Cinderella for Cinderella Complex by High King, that's when they fell in love with Hi. Have you heard that song? I have not. I should show it to you sometime. It's a good song. Um, who's next? Oh, and they also said that they are still laughing at the Takahashi Eye and the Eyes comment. So <laughs> good job, Jacob. Takahashi and the Eye. It's a good name. Um, then Mitty Pond said, for the longest time I was set on Reina being number one, but yeah. now I have to say it's Aww. Abe Natsumi. Aww. Bye. Abe was a much better performer than Reina. Abe was a better <laughs> supreme. <laughs> her time in Mo Momosuo was wonderful, but more so her solo work blew me away every time I listened to it. That is a valid point because I've shown you stuff that Abe did solo and you've liked it and I've shown you stuff that I... Reina has done now that she's gone like in her band and you don't like most of Love and Door's music. I don't really count the solo stuff. I This is their ranking in Morning Miss May. <laughs> Still, you don't really like much of Love and Door or Reina after the group. It's not my kind of music to begin with, so there you go. Who's next? Then we got from Wheatley D. Fukuhime for number one, Mizuki has always had a mature way about her and looks put together while performing. Good for her. Plus look at that banging bod too. She got curves. Try not to look at the banging bods. <laughs> of underage kids. Of underage girls. <laughs> then from Vince B, you're my new favorite person because you said your number one is Gaki-san. He said that she is the most beautiful Morning Musume member to ever grace our worthy eyes. She started out as a cute and adorable young member and slowly and surely evolved into the great leader she left as. 
She was a damn good leader. All right, why don't you two make some t-shirts? <laughs> I will make t-shirts. Um, and they said that their number two was Takashi Ai. Then we got from MJ Fun Vlogs. Number one is Risa, you're my second favorite person. You're both on like the same plane. Both of you are together, wonderful. We'll all have t-shirts together. Same, we'll have just Gaki Slay on it or something. Um, she was one of the girls that would be a huge showstopper if given a chance. Maybe that was the reason she was put towards the back. I feel like Takashi Ai was the leader of the group and she was the lead vocalist and I think that management didn't want Gaki to over step her and like overstage her because I think that in songs where they've had duets together Gaki stole the show and I think that's what they were trying to avoid that's just me and I think that's why she got more time later after I Chen left then we got from S Y N C 4 E X their number one is undeniably the beautiful and talented mesmerizing Mitsui Aika I'm checking out if you read this whole comment <laughs> no, they I said will just leave. they said just kidding their okay. number one is actually Reina Okay, I was I was literally gonna just walk out and go to work and be done with this video. You could finish it out on your own. They said that Aika looks and sounds like a dog. Thank oh, you. oh, God bless you. No, she's cute. Nope. Um, but they said they look up to they looked up to Reina in high school and they fell out of love with her in college, but now that she's in Love and Door, my love has blossomed again. As it <laughs> and they always liked that she did whatever she wanted. And put a lot of shit into her hair. <laughs> she had right, extensions fine. for the gods. Gaki. And she's perfect. Then we got Goto Maki. Okay. Goto's great. Alright, well, she's and not she... one great. <laughs> you liked her ears, didn't you? Yeah. And then we also got Abe Natsumi from Daughter of White. Then we got Yoshizawa Hitomi. Alright, that's a fair There's one. nothing to hate about her. I will give you Yoshizawa. Ruth. Yes, you know, but I'm not sure about go Tiny Tits McGee. I think that she was fierce. Tiny Tits I think, McGee? Yeah, mm -hmm. Goto's fierce. There's, like, things she was that fierce. you could like about she her. She was fierce when she left the group. I don't think she was ever fierce when she was in the group. She was just kind of awkward. No, she wasn't fierce in the group, but she was fierce out of it. So, I can't get behind her as number one. I could say ranking her high as a Hello Project member. Maybe not Morning Musume. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Debatable. Thank you guys so much for following us this whole year with our journey, journey of ranking the Morning Musume members. Oh gosh, your phone. This is unprofessional. That's that I have. Um, yes. I want to do one more video next week. It'll be like the last one of this member stuff. And I want to do something that Jacob and I talked about a while ago, which was our ultimate Morning Musume, our dream Morning Musume, oh, if you crap. will. So go ahead and put your list together now. Think of who your ultimate dream Morning Musume member should group would be what what number do we want to cap it at uh, do we want it to be it, 8 10 12 how many members limit it 8 to 10 okay 10 max i'm probably going to do 12 because i can't limit it to 10 great but um yeah come up with your list 8 10 or 12 <laughs> whatever your fancy is um and then we'll kind of discuss that next week i think that'd be fun crap I that'll be the last one and it's almost christmas so in a couple of days. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Thank you for voting for Gaki. She's the best. I'll make shirts. I'll make shirts for Gaki.